In this screencast, I will cover how to sync or access your Zotero library from more than one computer. In the previous screencast, we covered how to set up your Zotero account. Now that you have a Zotero account set up, you can access your Zotero data from more than one computer. To do this, go to the Actions icon on the Zotero toolbar, choose Preferences, and then go to the Sync tab. Enter the username and password that you chose for your account. Before we go further, it is important to think about how Zotero keeps track of your library's data across multiple computers because you may need to think strategically about how you will store your data. Zotero is able to sync your library across multiple computers because they are storing your data on their servers. There are two kinds of data that Zotero can store. First is what they call just plain data, or the metadata associated here with all of your citations, the titles, authors, journal titles, etc., and the tags and notes that you have made about those citations. The just plain data is synced on Zotero servers and there is no limit to how much of this kind of data you can store on Zotero servers and therefore sync across multiple computers. The other type of data are files, the attachments that your citations may have, such as PDFs or screenshots. These files can quickly take up a lot of space, so Zotero only gives users 100 megabytes free server space for this type of data. To give you a picture of how much 100 megabytes is, a general rule of thumb is that one PDF averages one megabyte. The bottom half of your Zotero sync dialog box asks how you would like to sync files that you have in your Zotero library. One option is to use additional storage space that Zotero provides. For $20 per year, you can add an extra gigabyte of storage space to your Zotero library so that you can sync all of your files across multiple computers. For many people, this is probably the easiest storage method. Another storage route is to use a WebDAV storage space, or Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning. There are some free WebDAV storage options. Google free WebDAV to see a current list of what is free and recommended. Some university departments will provide WebDAV space for their constituents. If you have WebDAV space available to you, enter the site address for your WebDAV space so that Zotero knows where to store your files. If you have difficulty setting up your WebDAV space or have questions about how a particular WebDAV provider works with Zotero, this is a great time to search the Zotero forums for their experiences that other Zotero users have had with this type of storage space. Once you have set up an account and navigated through the storage options available to you, you are ready to sync your Zotero library. Click OK and Zotero will start to sync your library with its servers. If you go to a new computer, first make sure that Zotero is loaded onto that computer, then go to the Sync tab within the Zotero Preferences and enter your account information. Your account should automatically begin syncing. You can also click the little green arrow in the upper right hand corner of the Zotero toolbar to manually begin the syncing process.